Hi everyone, I welcome all of you to Video Solutions of Anthe 2019 that is Akash National Talent Hunt Examination and here very first I am going to discuss the paper of class 8 which is of code 8A. Here I am going to take up the mathematics portion. So let's start with this first question. It states that if 30k square is equal to 3600 then which of the following cannot be triangular number? You can observe here we have four options and using this given statement I can obtain the value of k which will help me out to obtain the right answer. So considering this given statement that square of 30k which clearly gives me square of 30, 900 square of k, k square that is 900 k square is equal to 3600. You can easily simplify this as 0, 0 will get cancelled and 9 will reduce 36 4 times and it results you here k square is equal to 4. If k square is equal to 4 that clearly gives me the value of k equal to 2. Now the value of k is obtained according to the given statement. Using this let us check what are the values of these given options. So, if I am considering here the first option which is 4 plus k. So, 4 plus k will become 4 plus 2 6. Next I have 5 minus k. 5 minus k becomes 5 minus 2 3. Next I have here 2 k plus 1 and 2 into 2 plus 1 becomes 5. Further when you consider the last option 2 k minus 3 that is 2 into 2 4 minus 1. 3 gives me 1. So, you can clearly observe here 6 is a triangular number, 3 is a triangular number, 1 is a triangular number, but here 5 is not a triangular number. So, considering these 4 options given in this question, I could clearly say that 5 is not a triangular number which is found here in option number 3. So, the correct answer for this question will be option 3. I hope it is clear to you. Now let us take up our next question. Here I have the next question which states that the frequency distribution table given below represents marks of 31 students of a class out of 50. You can observe this is the data of 31 students. That means sum total of all these number of students is going to be 31. Here I have these frequencies given where x is one of the frequency. and it further states if x minus y upon 2 is equal to 10 then the value of 36 plus y whole by 6 is out of these four options. So let us proceed with this question. Here you can clearly observe that sum of 5, 10, 6, x and 2 will clearly give me the sum total as 23 plus x and this is equal to 31. And this helps me out to obtain the value of x equal to 31 minus 23, 8. Now the value of x is obtained. Here one more relation is provided that x minus y whole upon 2 is equal to 10. Substituting here the value of x that is 8 minus y whole upon 2 equal to 10. Now when you simplify this you obtain the value of y that is clearly 20 minus 8 that is 12 minus y is equal to 12. This means value of y in this case will be equal to minus 12. Now the value of y is obtained. Using this I can obtain the value of this given expression that is 36 plus y whole by 6. Considering that here you get 36 plus y whole upon 6 which is clearly 36 minus 12 whole upon 6 it is 24 upon 6 equal to 4. So, the value of this expression is 4. So, I could clearly mark the correct answer out of these 4 options now. The value of this given expression is 4 which is clearly found here in option number 4. You can definitely mark the answer to be option number 4. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let us take up our next question. Here I have question number 48 which states that square root of the product of the greatest three digit square number and the smallest three digit square number is out of these four options. So, when I talk about the greatest three digit square number it is 961. 
and when I talk about the smallest three digit square number it is 100. So, here we are talking about the square root of product of these numbers. So, this is the product of numbers and when you take the square root what will be the value of this quantity. So, when I talk about 961 this is the square of the number 31 and 100 is square of 10. So, you can easily obtain the square root now this is the value equal to 31 into 10 that is 310. So, the required answer in this case is 310 which is clearly found here in option number 3. So, you can definitely mark here the answer to be option number 3. Answer for this question is option 3. Let us proceed to our next question.